Thank you very much for staying with us this evening. Our top focus. Very strong tremors were felt in Delhi and its neighboring regions as twin earthquakes rocked Nepal. An earthquake with a magnitude of 6.2 on the Richter scale hit Nepal at 2.51 p.m. today, followed by another quake with 4.6 magnitude. People here in Delhi NCR rushed out of their buildings as the jolts left the buildings shaking. Even in Lucknow, people were seen rushing out of their homes out of panic. Now, citizens of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and other adjoining areas also felt strong tremors. While no casualty or loss of life has been reported, buildings have suffered serious damages. Let me go across to my colleague uh, Pradeep. Pradeep, very good evening. As far as the situation is concerned, tell us where you're reporting from and at what time were these tremors also felt? Uh, yes, sir, you're absolutely right because of the tremors that it's jolted entire area right from Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, even uh, parts of Jaipur also, and uh, Himachal Pradesh and parts of Jammu and Kashmir, they felt the tremors. Initially, the reports were almost similar uh, for, as we are reported from the other parts of the region, that uh, people panicked, they came out of their homes, those who were in the offices, they came out of their offices, because initial jolt was a smaller one, the second jolt was a little bit bigger, that was that was one of the reasons that the people panicked. But right now, as you can see, even the, uh, the police and the authority has come out with an advisory asking people not to panic in Delhi. They told them that whosoever had been in the high-rise building they should come downstairs and not to use elevator because normally what happens in such situation there can be a stampede if people panic so that's one of the reason people have been asked to remain calm no need to panic but yes uh, don't uh, stay in the high rise building that's what actually they had been told because it was the, the if we look at the epicenter of this earthquake epicenter of this earthquake was nepal and it was about 6.2 on the richter scale because if we look at this basically how it leads to earthquake there are so many tectonic plates because there are about seven major tectonic plates and there are eight minor tectonic plates and whenever these tectonic plates they are normally on the move but whenever their edges get stuck up and there's a friction it leads to an earthquake as epicenter was uh, nepal that's one of the reason you must have seen that the impact was more intensity was more in uttarakhand parts of uttar pradesh and also in jaipur area because these are the areas bordering this region and though most of these places are about 200 uh, kilometers to 300 kilometers away from the epicenter but normally what happens that whenever the epicenter is nepal uh, these regions have a more impact that's why the ncr delhi also shoot. But if it uh, epicenter would have been Hindu Kush, then the bordering areas like PO, JK, Pakistan and most of the parts of the Jammu Kashmir would have faced a bigger impact. But whenever there is an earthquake, there's a lot of panic. Reason is that already we saw that last year how many of those high rising, uh, high rise building crumbling like pack of cards in uh, Turkey area and many people lost their lives. So those people uh, the, the, um, always get panicked because they, when they think of those visuals. So that's one of the reasons that people were out. But now the situation is getting back to normal. They're going back to their respective work now they are back to their offices they are back to their home uh, but yes uh, it led to panic for some time reason being that several parts of the country got mostly the northern india it got uh, affected because of this it jolted almost all these areas because of this earthquake which was 6.2 on the uh, richter scale if we look at this tectonic plate moment because this is an indian plate because if we talk about the indian tectonic plate uh, this uh, covers areas like nepal it has uh, uttarakhand uttar pradesh and then rajasthan also these are the parts of India. So these are the region. So that got affected because of this thing. But uh, what is good thing is that there has been no loss of life and property. Yes, there are certain upper issues where they are trying to collect a report uh, whether there had been some impact or not because deputy commissioners and other revenue officials, they are trying to get in uh, touch with the people there on the ground, trying to find out whether there had been any kind of a loss to the property or any damage to the property. They are trying to assess because it's not uh, possible to immediately get report from certain areas which are far away uh, from the capital city. Uh, but yes, they are trying to find report. But yes, all I can say right now, no report of any untoward incidents or any kind of a, a like a fatality being reported from any part of the country where the earthquake tremors are felt because of uh, this epicenter being in the Nepal region. And we have seen that intensity of the earthquake over the period of time and the frequency of earthquake has also increased. A reason being that most of the time there is a friction in the uh, tectonic plate. And uh, that's really a matter of concern which the geologists and the seismologists are trying to understand because last, in the month of August also there was... Uh, uh, earthquake uh, tremors were felt in NCR then again uh, three four months back also that time also the tremors were felt off and on the tremors are being felt in NCR but that time uh, the epicenter was Hindu Kush mountains in Afghanistan it was uh, less uh, uh, on the Richter 
scale as compared to what we were we felt today because some of the people i uh, spoke to they said initially they thought that because of the low blood pressure uh, they are uh, feeling that uh, as the earth is shaking but later on when they saw that the fan was moving like a pendulum in their room and that was the time they realized that there is an earthquake they immediately rushed out of their home because that's a normal uh, knee jerk response of what the people have whenever there is an earthquake so that's one of the reason that i advised you have been issued asking people not to panic whenever the earthquake is felt because after shocks are also there whenever there is an earthquake then after that also there are certain tremors are felt for about 3 to 4 hours and again maybe for 2 to 3 days because after shock of the earthquake is always uh, there so those tremors are being felt again and again they, that can be possibility so that's one of the reason that the people had been asked to stay calm not to panic not to use elevator in case they are in the high rise building and not to stay there for long whenever such uh, things happen better come out of those buildings and stay on the roadside that's the best thing to do and that's what exactly the people had been following the procedure uh, this time also they did the same thing right pradeep i appreciate you getting us all those details as far as what really transpired and the precautionary measures also that was uh, given by the administrative uh, but just stay on with me i understand ila is also joining us live on the broadcast ila uh, pradeep was of course talking to us about um, the epicenter being uh, nepal and the aftermath also fell but talk to us about in the delhi ncr region what time was this reported and more details that you have on that front as well Well, absolutely. The first earthquake, which was reported in Nepal, was two at 2:50, and the tremors were felt in national capital Delhi, as the magnitude was very high, and it was 6.2. And if I talk about the depth, the depth was five kilometer. And I'm also being joined by some people here, and we will ask them that how they felt. What's your name? Is it Mara? My name is Harry. What did you do here? I was just going to go. Did you feel anxious? Yes, I mean, we were going to go. So we were going to go. ये टॉम के अंदर थे तो ध्यान हमें फील हुआ कि कुछ हल्का सा हिल रहा है तो एक बार पहले हल्का सा लगा कि कुछ आया है फिर कुछ एक दो मिनट बाद दोबारा से फील हुआ कि कुछ शायद भूकंप से आया तेज फिर हम उसका ना गार्डन एरिया में आ गए थे क्योंकि काफ़ी तेज हवा सी भी चल रही थी और हिला भी था तो इसलिए हम गार्डन एरिया में आ गए थे बाद में जी और तुम बताओ तुम क्या भूकंप आया कितना तेज था वो तेज तो पता नहीं मेरे को पर तेज था पहले वाला मतलब ज़्यादा तेज था तो मैंने इससे बोला कि मेरे को फील हुआ कि भूकंप आ रहा है तो इसने कहा कि नहीं मतलब होता रहता है नॉर्मल है ऊपर है ठीक होगा तो फिर हम ओपन एरिया में आ गए पहले हम टॉम के ऊपर थे फर्स्ट फ्लोर पर ओके ओके आपका नाम क्या है सर मेरा नाम पवन राय ज्यादा है आपको भी फील हुआ भूकंप हाँ बेसिकली हम लोग यहाँ पे आए थे लोधी गार्डन में प्री वेडिंग शूट कराने के लिए तो हमारा प्री वेडिंग चल रहा था तो सडनली हमें फील हुआ कि मूवमेंट हुई और हम नियर स्ट्रक्चर थे तो जैसे ही पता लगा कि मूवमेंट है अगेन थोड़ी सी मूवमेंट हुई तो हम बाहर स्ट्रक्चर से निकल के ओपन एरिया में पहुँच गए वो लगा कि कुछ भूकंप चल रहा है इसका मतलब कुछ ना कुछ दिक्कत है और ये बहुत लंबे टाइम बाद ऐसा फील हुआ है यहाँ पे तो आप नॉट श्योर मे बी कुछ और एरिया होंगे जहाँ पे वो सीरियस भी हो सकता है अभी ज़्यादा पता नहीं मेरे को मैं चेक नहीं कर पाया बिकॉज आई वॉज बिजी इन माई शूटिंग तो मे बी बट Okay. That's okay. all this. Okay. So you can hear the people are saying that they felt high tremors and after shocks as well, and they came out as soon as they heard, they got aware about the earthquake. And many people were walking in their offices. They also came out. If I uh, talk about, then the scientists believe that the right. depth uh, was around Ila, five uh, kilometers. I'd have to interject you there, were, but thank you very uh, much for getting us much. the latest. You and Pradeep as well in getting those reactions. as well but i do understand that you were earlier in conversation with dr sanjay let's listen into that uh, for more details actually when this you know that uh, our the earthquake presently where occur it is a collision boundary right so there are you know that is the you can see the, in this map there is a red mark so this is our collision boundary where the major faults are there so if you see in the past history also there are lot of earthquake already occurred in the western nepal as you know the gorkha earthquake 2015 occurred that is in the center nepal now the most of the earthquake you see here in the past also the many earthquake has occurred so this today earthquake which occurred here that is in western nepal which is closer to the our the our uttarakhand region this you can see this is the region the uttarakhand mm -hmm. which is closer to the bagaswar uh, region and pithoragarh haldwani they are closer to this one and because the earthquake was very shallow in nature that is about 5 km and this is the felt is 6 6.2 magnitude was there that's why it's felt in delhi from the delhi it is about 400 km the ep center region right so if you see here so this earthquake occurred in the 29.39 uh, degree latitude and 81.23 
the depth was 5 km. That is very shallow depth. That's why it's filled in whole over North India. So if you see in the Punjab region, Rajasthan, Delhi, Haryana, and uh, neighboring region uh, like UP also, it has filled like Barai and all.